man who opened fire inside a Louisiana movie theater had a history of mental health issues, and that's according to a request for a protective order filed against him in 2008 by his wife and daughter. The former wife was so worried about him that uh, she called it a volatile mental state that he was in, and she actually removed all the guns from their home. As Kenneth Craig reports, police are slowly learning more about the gunmen and the victims. Investigators spent hours Friday combing through the movie theater in Lafayette, Louisiana, where a man opened fire Thursday night. They are being deliberately slow and methodical. Police found 13 shell casings in the theater. The bullets hit and killed two women, 21-year-old Macy Bro and 33-year-old Jillian Johnson. Bro was about to begin radiology school at the same hospital that treated some of the victims. Just two weeks ago, uh, toured the facility and met many of our staff, and so it, this uh, really, uh, it hurts. So far, police have not determined what may have motivated the gunman, identified as 59-year-old John Russell Hauser. Court documents show Hauser's family said he was mentally ill and that he had threatened them. We believe in talking to the family, talking to the friends, trying to look at his writings uh, on the Internet and putting some... Uh, parts and pieces together, maybe we can try to figure out what caused them to do it. Police say they've received some promising leads after releasing the gunman's name. They're now following up on calls from people who say they've had recent interactions with Hauser. Four on-duty police officers were inside the theater within 60 seconds of the shooting. Hauser spotted police on his way out as he tried to escape. He then turned back inside and shot himself. Police found disguises in the Lafayette motel room where they say he had been staying. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, Lafayette, Louisiana. Investigators say the brand of handgun used in the shootings is hard to trace, and they're still working on figuring out where it came from. Scott Pelley will have the latest developments from Louisiana tonight on the CBS Evening News.